Sup, sup, everyone. It's really to me, B, back at it again with Haze B for the next episode of our Heart Gold and Soul Silver Randomizer Soul Link. Last episode on Haze B's channel, we finally beat the first gym after we had to reset on my episode and we got our Pokemon eggs. Haze B's took only a couple of minutes. Mine took about over 30 minutes to hash. But I got this awesome Celebi, and Hayes got himself uh, an, an Oddish. But Hayes B, my friend, how are you today? I am doing great. I am ready to jump back into this now that we uh, finally got past that first hurdle. And uh, now I have a little bit of a decent team going. So ready to see what lies in store for us today. Absolutely, my friend. In this episode, we're going to continue along, make our way to Azalea Town, get a couple of new encounters. But before we start that, my friend, how about we hop into a little bit of a team recap? And uh, you know what? I'll let you go first today. All right. Let's see. So first off, I think we have... Yeah, here we go. Uh, we have Nathan, our adamant-natured Numble, with Aeroblast, Dragon Rage, Bubble Beam, and Blaze Kick. Now, I don't have my paper in front of me. I don't know exactly who Nathan is linked to. Uh, but I'm going to continue on here. Next, we have Susan, our Pidgeot, our newly evolved Pidgeot, uh, with Cross Poison, Side Beam, Shadow Force, and Yawn, and has that solid rock ability. So that's that's pretty good. Next up, we have Lewis, the hasty-natured Leafeon, with Energy Ball, Dragon Claw, Power Gem, and Arrow Blast. And last but not least, we have Quinn, the calm-natured Oddish, with Anger Point, with Supersonic, Metal Claw, Magic Coat, and Extra Sensory. Sounds good to, to me, my friend. So starting off, we got Wendy the Celebi that hatched from my egg that took over half an hour to hatch, who is linked with that Oddish. So hopefully that Oddish can evolve into something good. That way we don't have to worry about losing a Celebi. We got Limber as the ability cannot get paralyzed. And we got Absorb, Power Trick, Glare, and Extra Sensory. We got Bell the Bell Sprout, who is linked with the Pidgeot. Uh, we got color change, so we got to evolve soon because I don't like color change. But we got Giga Impact, Arrow Blast, Leap Blade, and Petal Dance, a very powerful move set. We got Azumarill, Stacy the Azumarill, our starting Pokemon linked with Lewis the Leafeon with Anger Point. So our attack is goes up once we get critically hit. And we got Withdraw, Hydro Cannon, Water Spout, and Frenzy Plant. Not too many power points, but we got some powerful moves. And finally, we got Cranium, the Cranitos, with Drizzle as the ability, who is linked with that Numel. And uh, we got the moves Rock Tomb, Fury Cutter, Magnitude, and Shadow Ball. That sounds like a pretty good team, and so some pretty good pairs to so you guys and gals watching this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button to like this video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm It's Really Timmy B, and I do a bunch of awesome Pokemon content doing this collaboration series with my good friend, Hayes B. If you want to support our channels beyond hitting that thumbs up button to like the video, also consider hitting subscribe as well. Well, Hayes B, are you ready to start this episode? I believe I am. Okay, so there is a secret egg that we can get here. We can get a couple of new encounters. If we talk to this guy in the Pokemon Center, uh, he will have a Mareep egg, a Wooper egg, and a Slugma egg. And, of course, uh, it's going to be randomized. He will tell us what it is, though. And I believe we can get all three, but Hazeby and I decided to just get one for now as we will be getting a couple of encounters. And it's always nice to kind of have that in the back pocket uh, should we ever need a new encounter and a new egg. Well, Hazeby, I said you got Mareep, Rupert, and Slugma. They will be randomized. Which one are you going to go with? Uh, I'm going to grab the Mareep egg first, I think. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the Wooper egg. Uh, I think it's going to be cool. So we gotta, we gotta, we have secret codes that you have to look up. So once we go here, we got to go into ABC mode. That'll be easiest for me. And my first code is download treasure. What about yours? My first one is minus festival. Oh, okay. That I would rather like a uh, you know positive festival, not a minus <laughs> festival. Right. Uh, you know that that doesn't sound like a very happy festival. But you know what? I'll take it. Okay. And Download treasure. Confirm. My second one is Sand Veil Serene Grace. It'd be awesome if uh, we had Serene Grace on our uh, our new member here. Yeah, mine is Travel Versus, and this really isn't a versus, but we are playing this together, and you can say we are traveling together. This is true. What is yours? Uh, did you get your egg? Uh, no, not yet. I'm still typing the V for versus. Oh, okay. What did you... So I got my egg, and it said that it was a Gloom egg. Now, I don't know if that's actually what it'll end up being, but uh, I do already have an Oddish, but, you know, I won't say no to a Gloom. Let's see. I got a... I got a Spiro egg. Okay. 
So good news is that looks like that that will be uh, hatching very soon. What we're gonna do is if you haven't seen Haze Bee's episode, go watch that right now as we hatch these eggs. But we're just gonna cut away to when these eggs hatch and then we will go right to the team recap. So we will see you guys in just a second. And we are back. Our eggs actually hatched right around the same time, which is kind of crazy, but that did turn out being a Spiro and a Gloom. I went ahead and named mine Spartan, because I, I, I really think that this is gonna be a good evolution. We got a Serious Nature, and our ability is Magnet Pool, prevents Steel-type Pokemon from escaping. And we got the moves Tri Attack, Flame Wheel, Ice Punch, and Air Cutter. That is not a bad move set, especially for those uh, that Magnet Pool ability. We got Flame Wheel, so uh, definitely not too terrible. And what about your Gloom, Hayes? Well, we got a sassy natured Glenda. <laughs> you and your sassiness. <laughs> we love sassy Pokemon over here. And we are rocking with Iron Fist, which Ooh. boosts the power of punching type moves. And Glenda's rocking with Shadow Claw, Nature, Power, uh, <laughs> Judgment, <laughs> and Spark. So Glenda's packing some, uh, packing, some, packing some heat right now. We definitely have some interesting movesets. I have Ice Punch, so, I mean, we can make a little trade. I don't know if we can trade moves, but that would be really cool. But as you guys can see, uh, they are both level one. So we are going to cut away again. That way we can grind it up to actually a usable level. So we will see you guys once again in just a second. And we are back. Both of our Pokemon are all grinded up, so we are ready to continue down Route 32. Uh, looks like we won't be getting any new encounters here on this route because we already caught one, but we do have some trainers and potential for some items as well. Uh, so I'm going to be doing uh, a little bit of speeding up here and there, my friend. Uh, ooh, a Toxicrobe. Me as well. I actually I got another. I know we are just talking about this. I got a Nether Miracle Seed. I bought one in the... Uh, in the mart in violet town so i was like oh, i guess now i have two i don't have any other grass type pokemon to give it to but what if i do i'm 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 crew i'm ready to go oh that yeah that's awesome and i mean i got this bell sprout i got the celebi uh so uh we're ready to go and uh the good news about having the celebi is uh we're pretty much I don't want to say we're over leveled for these trainers because of what has happened to us so far in this soul link but um we are going to be cruising along a little bit, and then uh, hopefully once we get to Bugsy, our levels will even out a little bit. Ooh, an Aerodactyl. That could have been a fun encounter. I just got a gooey mulch. Have you ever heard of a gooey mulch? I have, actually, because I have picked it up a couple of times in randomizers. Um, but that looks like, uh, I think it's a good item to play, sell some stuff, buy some stuff with. Uh, it most definitely is. I just, I've never heard of that before. I love it. That's one of the, like, the things I like about these, uh... When you randomize the items again, we were talking about like the berries and stuff. But, like, to get to always so many items I've heard of before, I always end up picking up. Oh, I did not want your number. Oh, my goodness. that's okay. Yeah, that's why for for my oh, I have a steel type Pokemon that I could use my Magnet Pool and my Flame Wheel Spartan. Let's go Spartan. But yeah, that's why my uh, in my Twitch affiliation celebration, which is still going. Oh, Reg I saw. Uh, <laughs> Uh, which is still going on what i do is when we get to a random item i run a predictions for everybody to win channel points which i have called timmy bucks and basically i have a usable item or a mega stone or a cell item or a berry because the randomizations always have berries for the most part or just random items so it's a definitely fun prediction to go through and uh, it's been about half and half so far which is which has been nice yeah, I mean, I, I, I found a couple. Uh, I found a couple Timmy Bucks doing some of those predictions. There was one. You got one of them, and it was an item that like you could have used. So I was like, oh yeah, like I bet like I think like three hundred or four hundred points on it, and I was like, I got this. This is a big old payday for me. And you're like, well, I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna sell it. And I was like, my heart was broken. I was like, no. This wall right just used sacred fire. Can you relax, my friend? Oh my goodness, I got a, a level fifteen Wormadam out here. I also just picked up a luck incense, so I'm going to be rolling some money. Hey, here. that is money. Now it goes for confusion. I love how the, some of these movesets and some of these mods are just absolutely stacked. Of course we get confused, though, right after first. That's 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 wonderful. And we hurt ourselves, because why not? It is Coliseum all over again. Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like that, Timmy. I don't like that. Timmy, you're awfully quiet. Mm, yeah, well, I got a big death. Oh, who is it? So, remember that egg that took me over half an hour no, to hatch? No way. <laughs> There's no way you just lost that. Yeah, well, we have this Wormadam, okay? It used Sacred Fire, which is fine, okay? And I got burned. 
So I was like, that's fine. You know what? I can take this down. And I kept using extra sensory. It, it missed Psy Wave. So I knew three of its moves. And then it was like, you know what? I'm going to use Twin Needle, which is four times effective against the Celebi. Made it down to eight health. And I was like, maybe I could survive this burn. Well, I didn't. Oh, goodness me. Well, I mean, for me, it's not that bad. I just lose my little Oddish, which was getting very close to evolving. But, I mean, that's a that's a big one for you, my friend. That is a, that is a big one. But, if anything, we are just making this a little bit more fun and a little bit more challenging. Uh, because, as we know, our good friend Latin Luigi hates when people use legendaries and pseudo-legendaries in, in playthroughs True. and nuzlocks. So, if anything, we're just, you know, we're making it a little bit interesting. That's yeah, all. We're just making it. But, uh, you know, I feel like of all the legendaries, like, Celebi is probably the least, like, overpowered one to use, you know? Yeah, so but like it has such good type one. coverage, too. That's true, it does. It does have some decent coverage. Alright, now I to... gotta run well, back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> did not take us long to, uh, <laughs> to lose somebody, but, you know, that's, that's why we got, we got that egg. We do have, what, we just went through this one two three four five like six encounters coming up in probably the ne this episode and next episode oh so. i know hopefully hopefully i can get some redemption with this cave encounter as well as some evolutions as well i mean i got this bell sprout that's a couple of levels away from evolving i got this spiro that's a couple of levels away so who knows maybe maybe i get even a better pokemon than celebi when i evolve very true very true which uh you know would be absolutely awesome uh randomizer wanted to uh to bless us just a little bit and oh we're already in our sad box perfect and all right, Quinn, you tried. All, all right. right, my friend. All righty. And then well, uh, we four mons already. We're, we're absolutely just and, and a reset. We're killing it right now, Timmy. We're just we are doing the absolute most. You know, we're we're just making it entertaining for our viewers. That's <laughs> all. That's true. Oh, hey, also in this uh in this Pokemon Center down here before Union Cave, you get the old rod. Talk to the fisherman. Ooh, well, do we want to fish right outside or or no? What are you feeling? Uh, I think that's still Route 30, uh, 32, so I don't think we can. Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. I could be wrong. Yeah, I, I mean, I only have, like, five or six Pokeballs, and, uh, so I probably want to save it for the cave anyways. Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't think we can get an encounter here, uh, legally, so. Yeah, I'll just save it for the cave, hopefully the cave will give us something, All something right. good we can add to the team. Whoa, oh my god! Why are there so many legendaries? This guy has a Dialga. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is this something that you're going to be able to uh, to handle this time? Or is it going to... Are we going to be looking a little dicey here? Uh, I should be fine. We'll, we'll see. It's outraging right now, so we'll be confused. That's still, that's still pretty terrifying, though. Right. I should be fine. Hurt itself in this confusion. Okay. You snapped out of confusion. Okay, and I'm still paralyzed. That's just a uh, dandy. That's fun. Well, I'm going to wait here from the cave before uh, we get our encounter so we can kind of get the same time here. Yeah. So just let me know when you are ready. Did we get Rock Smash from the first gym, or is that the second gym? Uh, you have? can. You can get it, actually. Who gives it to you? Uh, it's some guy west of the city. Oh, well, I missed that. Oh, well, there's an yeah. item down there. So I was like, oh, it could be, it's definitely worth getting when they're all randomized, but I don't know if I have Z-Rock Smash HM, so... Alright, so I, I survived the, the Dialga, so that's... Cool. Okay. And I got a Repeat Ball, so that's just another ball to have, which probably isn't good for this because of dupes, but hey, it's a ball to throw. Yeah, it's not too bad. When did I get more balls? Oh my oh, god, I can I get a Repel or something? Good god, it's like every two steps. <laughs> I also just realized I only have five Pokeballs. I definitely should have gone back and bought some. Oh, I got Steel Wing! Ooh, okay. Oh, that's not bad. I guess you could teach that uh, Spartan could probably learn that. Probably be decent. Uh, let me let me see if anybody can learn. What was your TM, or was it not good? Uh, which, I don't, did you get, oh, uh, I got Soft Boiled from that, uh, one up, uh, before, on the little, like, cliff up there. Ooh, my, my Azumarill can learn it? So, it's not really a physical attacker, so we'll, we'll hold off on that one. Yeah. Um, wait, Susan has Yawn. Let's have Susan out front, I think, for this encounter. Perfect. All right. All right, let me get the, let me heal up the team a little bit. Let's get this old rod just in case we can fish anytime soon. Well, you definitely start, I don't know how many cities in this game actually have, like, ponds that you can go into. 
but we should definitely uh, be on the lookout for that. I forget to do that a lot, just even when I'm playing like on my own. I forget about the uh, encounters actually in the city, so definitely try to remember that one. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget, actually. Whoop. All right. All right. I'm gonna battle a couple. I'm just gonna finish off these trainers that I haven't battled yet. Okay. My God, this guy has a Rayquaza. What is happening? <laughs> oh God. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, like you said, we're just keeping things interesting. All right. Well, we got another uh, death, my friend. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Who you break? Who who's leaving? Your uh, breaking? Your Pidgeot. Oh no! Yeah, well, I'm disappointed too because it's a bell sprout, okay? So I was close to an evolution. That's true. Uh, Susan, my all powerful Susan. And I went, so I went for the Giga Impact. I was like, this is the strongest move that I have. We're like seven, eight levels higher. It, there's a chance this could work, my friend, okay? And it took it down to red health. And then it used Outrage. Which did a good amount of damage, then my stupid color change made me dragon type. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I see where this is going. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is uh, that is unfortunate indeed. Well, uh, really, I mean, that's just lucky. We that might, we might have to go get those other eggs. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think you're right. I'm kind of nervous to go into... Actually, I don't need to give up. I'm nervous to go into cave because what happens when we... Like, if we find out the legendary, we're going to be really tight on mons, and that's going to be... A little bit troublesome. All right, I All think right. we will be fine. All right, I am ready to go into. Uh, it, nope, I got one more trainer. All right, sounds good. I went back to Violet City so I can get some more Pokeballs, uh, and I'm, that's a good thing I did. So that way we, because we definitely want to make sure we grab these encounters. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of money, but I'm gonna grab at least three, and we'll get some potions here just to be safe. So let's buy. Um, those and then let me sell real fast i don't on my screen on my side it's been pretty tame all the actions happening over on timmy's side right now dude no joke i was like all right let me battle these trainers and one guy was like all right cool i have a dialga and then the next one's like cool i have a rayquaza and i'm like can't you guys have like caterpies and stuff but nah it's just just, just me can everyone just like relax just a little bit? I mean, it's a good thing. I know we were just talking about how like we are like a little high level for some of these trainers, but uh, it really didn't matter. And it's a good thing that we are uh, with our team, you know, obviously getting cut down a little bit. It's good that we have those levels because it, it obviously doesn't matter too, too much when you're going against legendaries. No, indeed, indeed. All right, well. I'm ready for the cave if you are. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know if I can be any, uh, you know, more ready. So let's hop All in. Right. Let's see what we got here. Now this is where I got a Celebi in my heart gold uh, type lock. But my encounter this time is a Makuhita. Okay, I just got my encounter. Let's see what we got. I got a Dragonair, level four. Okay. I'm a little concerned on how hard this thing might be to catch. Oh, I got a Duskfall, which is perfect for caves. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Well, and I caught it with the Duskfall, so there we go. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to try to catch this thing. I'm not really sure. I might be able to send Glenda out and try to hit this thing with a move. I'm just afraid Nathan might be a, a bit too powerful to hit this thing. It was for metal sound. Okay. I want to keep Nathan in just so we can kind of see what this thing's working with so we don't uh, have any unfortunate, uh, unfortunate deaths. Let's go for another Pokeball here. It's not even shaking. All right, so let me, uh, let's try this. Let's go into... Yeah, Glenda's got Crab Hammer and Spark, both resisted. And of course it has Aurora Beam. Oh That's no. That's fun. Oh, Glenda take Glenda eats that. Glenda eats that. I wanna go for the spark here. Okay, I also has return. Well, try to go for the spark and see if we can't get a para. I don't think this should be okay. It's resisted. It's not stab. Alright, yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And we get the first turn para. I can see that. Let's go for one more spark. This will be, unfortunately for uh, for Dragonair, it is a very late evolution, uh, but Makuhita isn't bad. We can uh, add this to the team. Uh, well, we had a, we had a close one, I'll just say that. <laughs> Another close one? I was, so I'm trying to grind this up a little bit, because we caught it, I caught it level 6, and then uh, Kronidos came up, and I was like, cool, we got, we got Wake Up Slab, super powerful move, it used super power me, took me down to 1 HP. We survived. 
there you go. <laughs> I was like, it's quiet. Every time Timmy gets quiet, I get a little bit concerned. I'm not going to lie. Oh, man. All right. Well, I know this Dragonair is not going to be uh, a Salamence, so I don't think I'm going to name it Gardenia this time around. Well, Dragonair uh, falls into Dragonite, so, I mean, there's a chance it could be a uh, Salamence. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsies. Um, what do I name this thing? All right, but I, I just replaced a level 21 evolution with my Bell Sprout uh, to a level 24 evolution with Mach. Oh my goodness! So for those of you who are like, why are you pressing wrong buttons, Timmy B? Well, I finally got my Switch, and I'm, I've been playing Pokemon Sword, beat the game, and all that stuff. And the Pro Controller, uh, the A, B, Y, and X are a little bit backward. So if you see me pressing wrong buttons, that's why. <laughs> oh, I could have got a hit on that. Would have been nice. I, uh, been I did it again. But uh, I named my Makuhita Mary. It is a female. We have Scrappy, so we can hit Ghost-type moves with Normal and Fighting-type moves, which is actually amazing for Makuhita. And we got Water Pulse, Wake-Up Slap, Poison Jab, and Gust. So we do have some pretty good moves. Not bad. Well, I named my Dragonair Bella, and uh, Impish Nature here with Forecast <laughs> transforms with the weather. So an absolutely useless ability for Bella. With metal sound, psych up, return, and aurora beam, so it's okay. It, it could be, it could be great. worse, you know. It could, it definitely could be worse. It could be. I'm not gonna lead with Bella much here. We'll try to get it uh, evolved. Oh, not evolved. But we'll get it leveled up uh, later on. But right now, I just want to get to the cave safely. Oh, we got a ho on the screen. Wow! Could that have been an encounter? Or? No, no. This is a trainer battle. Okay, so Those there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of legendaries this episode. There really is, and somehow, some way, a Giga Drain from a Ho -Oh does more than a Bubble Beam does to a super effective. So that's fun. Oh, what is this? What is it using? Tightening its focus. If I hit this, that means it doesn't hit next turn, right? Correct. Or I have to hit it. Okay, so we should be okay to take this. I don't need to heal up or be scared. Ha ha ha! Perfect. All right, let's do it again. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, goodbye. That Ho. -Oh. That Ho -Oh was stinky. Oh, I could have had a Spinda as an encounter. Dude, Spinda's actually not bad. Yeah, no, it's it's not. Yeah, not. Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong button. Uh oh, our good friend Metagross is back on the screen. Let's go for the blaze kick here. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh goodness. Nature. We are an adamant natured Nathan. Yeah, that's getting Ooh. one shot. To get out of here. A get magmar here, would have been a fun encounter. Actually, that would that would have been a fun encounter. I either have the protector or I think I actually do have the magmarizer. So that would have been a next level evolution. I think. Well, that would have been. Oh, that would have been really nice. But also, it's a Magmar, so like maybe I would want to like have kept it for a little bit, you know? Yeah, actually, I mean, because yeah, it could evolve into something absolutely, absolutely poo poo, but could have been good for at least a little bit. Or I can't wait until I get repels. This is literally like every third. Oh, a Carnivine. Uh oh. Uh... I see this person sending in. Goodbye. Goodbye, friend. I got a shiny stone. Actually, wait. Is that an evolution stone? I forgot. It does. Okay. Actually, wait. Oh, no. Oddish. I was going to say, I think Oddish or Gloom could evolve with. Wait, no. Glinda evolves with that, doesn't it? Can it evolve into a Blossom? Uh, or is that a Sun? Am I thinking of a Sunstone? There's only one way to find out. That's true. I'm uh, obviously not the authority on evolutions. I thought a Dragonair evolved into uh, Salamence there for about half a second. So, okay. No, it's not. Let's run away from this. I think I'm almost through the cave. Ooh, an Onyx. Hello, friend. All right, Iron Numble is putting in work. Nathan's absolutely doing the most. Timmy, you good? I know, I'm good. My uh, Azumarill is trying to learn Muddy Water, so we got some more power points. A little bit of an inaccurate move, but hey, you know. Not bad. That's what I got happens a sometimes. Now. <laughs> Ooh, an item. And oh, let's see what I got. Points. A white herb. Not that bad. All right, oh, and we're on our new route. I'm not going to actually, I don't know about you, I'm going to try to hold off and get this encounter until we can go back and get some more, uh, some more capturing devices, because I'm a little low. I'm like, only have like three left. I, I definitely agree with you on that one. All right, and I just ran into a Cresselia here outside of the cave, so that is fun. I'm gonna go for the Dragon Rage, goes for Defog. All right, we sh okay. Nothing crazy, goes for Defog again, perfect, we are good. A Glider wants to come out. Hmm. I'm gonna keep Nathan in. We'll go for another Dragon. So dragon Rage is super nice as part of the game. Uh, yeah, especially this early in the game too. Absolutely incredible. It makes things a little less stressful. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, we're. I'm watching the uh, little cutscene with the rocket grunt right now. 
Oh, a Beldum! That would have been uh, quite an encounter. That would. I think that's like, what, a mid-30 evolution? Ooh, I got a Water Stone! Hey! Which is used to evolve Star You into Star Me. If only. Oh, it's raining outside on Route 33. Are you a trainer? You are not. Okay, but you are! Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go and grab number six. Keep ten Pokeballs on you. Always, that's always a good number. Ooh! ooh, ooh. <laughs> are we still living? Or can we put it somewhere else in the box? We're still living! Okay. We are still living, for now. You'll, you will be pleased to know that you can actually get repels here in this next, uh, in this next mark. Alright, um, my graphics... Yeah, awesome. that's my Spartan right there, baby. Take down oh, a Venusaur. No. You want to learn substitute, though. Spartans do not substitute. No, they do not. Okay. All right. So, uh, so Glenda and Spartan as well. No, we we are all we are all good. Got out of that oh. trainer. Watching the cutscene of Team Rockets, and I've made it to Azalea Town, and I think this might be a good spot to end our episode. Uh, just looking at the time right now, I know we did have a couple of cuts here and there, but I think we're still at a pretty good time, and. Uh, Hopefully a Master Ball pops up in this Mart for me. Let's see what we got here. Uh, no. We got an Oval Stone, though. Okay. Alright, let me buy some... Let me, uh, buy some stuff. Alright, well, I'm, uh, I am good. Uh, it's, uh, that was... That was an up and down episode. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, indeed, it was. We got a Premier Ball. Nice. I got plenty of items. Uh... Uh, we gotta get a paralyzed seal. Okay. Well, that'll be the end for this episode. I kind of alluded to Hayes B for not killing the Celebi, but instead I did it, so our death counter has been updated uh, again. And, uh, well, yeah, but we made it to Azalea Town. Next episode, we are going to take on Bugsy, get a couple of encounters in the Slowpoke well as well. Make sure you go check that out on Hayes Beast's channel. I pointed the wrong way, so check over there. We still have four great team members, so, uh, again, Hit that thumbs up button to like this video, and if you are new, also consider subscribing. Hayes B, any final words? Uh, nope. I think we're, uh, just next episode, got a lot of encounters, so be on the lookout for that. But that's, uh, that's really about it. Absolutely. Well, it's really Timmy B and Hayes B over there telling you guys and gals to have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.